Ladies and gentlemen, KJ here, and I am back with another episode of NBA 2K13. Well, we are coming off of a very close win over New York, closer than it should have been, at least, for us, as we were only able to win it by four points, despite looking at that box score right there. We led it for the first, we led for the sixth. Look at that, we only let six points in in the second. Man, we, let, we kept them to double, to single digits, only... In the first two quarters, a total of, what is that? Can I do math? 14 points total in the first half. But as you can see, that fourth quarter, we completely broke down. Offense was about even, but the defense just completely broke down. Some costly turnovers made it a lot closer than it needed to be. We can't let that happen, though, tonight because it is the game that I'm sure all of you guys have been looking forward to. The Bulls versus the Bobcats. It is Derrick Rose versus LeBron James. Yes, this is the LeBron James-led Charlotte Bobcats. They are only 9-6, and six, but do not discount them. They are going to be a lot better than that, I can assure you. It's also going to be tough because, as you can see, it's back-to-back, -back, and then we go right into All-Star break. I'm looking forward to that. But we don't do very good on back-to-backs. Bobcats we faced in the playoffs last year. Probably will face them again this year. And then we face off against the Nuggets, who we actually beat to win the championship last year. They are not doing as well this year, though, and probably won't make the playoffs. Um, so it's going to be a it's going to be a rough couple games here for us. Let's see if we can take it one game at a time as we take on the Bobcats tonight. I actually looked at the roster a little bit. Surprisingly, right? You know, I really rarely do that, but I actually did this time. Um, they have LeBron James. As their star, of course. It basically looks like the Cavs team from this year, though. Um, surprisingly, they have like guys like, um, I think, Shumpert's on there. There you go, Shumpert, yeah. It's like I knew that was going to happen. Um, they have Mike Miller. I think they have... Do they have Moskov? They might have Moskov. So it's based... Either him or Vergeau. I don't remember which one, but one of them's on this team. So it's basically almost a lineup that the Cavs have right now. Except no Irving or um, or Kevin Love, but still, it is a uh, it's eerily similar to how the Cavs are this year. Luckily, we don't have to play the Bobcats that much, but luckily we're playing them at home, which is always a good thing. Starting lineups: Ramon Sessions, Shumpert, James, Tristan Thomas, and Velikunas. I believe Tom Thomas and Velikunas are both on. The Cavaliers teams right now. Um, I'm trying to remember because right now in real life we're in the playoff series with them. So, although at the time of recording this and the time of posting it, it might be over. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's. I record these things a little bit ahead of time, so I can always be able to get them up at least. So. Let's get this game started as we're getting ready for the opening tip. Is Prince, oh, Prince is going to be on James, isn't he? That's going to be tough for him. That's going to be tough for Prince. He's a decent defender, but it's still going to be tough for him to try and beat James. Oh, actually, Gibson was on him. I come over to help, and that's a bad... Well, okay, I guess that's a good plan. It might not work out that way every time, but that time, I believe it was Shumpert that missed there. So, we'll take it. Oh, Derrick Rose finds O.J. Mayo, who streaked into the basket. That was a very thin window that he got it in. Mayo did not convert, but he will go to the line to shoot two here. That was great. That was, that was close, too, and it kind of trailed the rim until falling out the front there. So, good job by Rose, and Mayo makes the first bucket. O.J. Mayo is finally here on his contract. I cannot re-sign him during the year due to bird right things. It's a technical thing that I don't know about. You guys can try and explain it to me. I don't get it that much. But we'll probably have to give him a lot of money because I would like to keep him. He is a very good player. Been in a little bit of a slump over the past month here, though. Him and Prince. 
But I think the last game, yeah, the last game against the Knicks, if I remember right, was a good one for him. So for him and Prince, they both really, really buckled down, started getting their shots back under control. So never know. Oh, I meant I meant to go inside with that one. Oh, they're calling a charge on Gibson. Crowd doesn't like it. I I don't know either. I'd have to see where the guy was. I said that was just some good good hard basketball playing in inside trying to back him down, but the game does not see it that way. Lob up and it is good by LeBron James to I don't know who that person was, but Charlotte gets back into the lead here. Splitter, you need, a, you need a, like, oh my god, throws. I kind of want Splitter to drive to the basket so I could hook him up, but that didn't work. Tell Bounds, Bulls get back. Eight seconds left. We're just going to have to do some Derrick Rose magic here. Spins in, puts it up. Easy shot there. Easy shot for Derrick Rose when he spins in and gets close to the basket. No big guys to defend, and... Easy two points. I like it when we get some easy two points. LeBron misses. Gibson gets the rebound. That was actually some good defense on Gibson. Looks like we've put him on LeBron instead. Prince. Oh, I thought Prince was coming farther than he did. Mayo shoots. Off front iron. And Shumpert will get the rebound. He'll also bring it up. And gives it to James. To Shumpert. Driving in, misses, and Prince hauls down the rebound. That was actually a very decent shot look that he had, but couldn't get it to fall. Splitter trying to exploit the smaller man, doesn't get it, but Gibson does not give up on the play. Never gives up on the play. He's always fighting for those offensive boards. Got it that time and got it back up and in. Taj Gibson giving the Bulls a two-point lead here as now LeBron James goes to work. A lot of contact there as he misses. They get an offensive rebound and they put it back up and in. As well as a foul on Gibson to Tristan Thompson. Probably should have been a foul call on the um, LeBron shot, I'll be honest. But we can't let him get the offensive rebounds. And then when they do, they put it back up and in with the foul. That's... That's like three strikes right there. You let him get the offense board, let him put it back up, and then you foul him. That's that's three strikes, and you're out, boy. So Charlotte now up seven to six on the Bulls. Bringing some of the bench, it looks like here. Ryan Anderson. Outside shot kind of there. Wasn't able to go. And instead, outlet pass to Shumpert. I really don't like that dude, man. He's been doing a good job for them right now. I don't know. It's just something to think about LeBron's teams. I never liked the players on LeBron's teams. Probably because it's LeBron's teams. Rose's shot just kind of rolls right off there. Ugh. Need, need better output than that, guys. Again, moving the ball around very well so far for the Cavs. Can't get anything to go, though. Shumper takes a shot and gets the kind roll to go. As they are up by five points, Bulls can't buy a bucket right now. Ryan Anderson for three. Nice. Nice. That's what we need. We need something. And hopefully he can help us get a spark off the bench. A couple of our guys from the bench are getting a little, a little testy about not having quite as much play of playing time as they would like. So I've been trying to mess with some things, try to give him a little bit more time. That's probably why Anderson is in a little bit sooner than usual. 
Bulls are down by four, so we will take a timeout, looks like here. We can take a look at the stats. Not really good right now, as you can see. Two for Rose and Mayo, and three for Anderson. No one's really scoring. No one's really taking the lead with that, and I don't like that. Rebounds are only one for Prince, um, and only one assist by Tygo Splitter. So, as you can see, we need, a, we need to pass the ball around some more. We need to get more people involved, get them off balance on the defensive side, and then we need to be better on the defensive side. They've, they've come down and pretty much made a shot every time, which is the reason why we don't have that many rebounds. So we need to get better on the defense, limit them to one shot opportunity, and make sure it's a bad one. That's like a practice that I do almost every time in between games, rebounding. So we have not been up to par with that this this year, so we need to improve it. A bunch more of the bench comes in, it looks like here, as Heinrich is in. Gibson's still there, though. Oh, he's on. He's on LeBron, I don't know if I want to take that one. Give it to Gibson. Catch and shoot by Bellinelli. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Don't have to worry about, you know, driving to the hoop. No, no. Pass it around enough that your three-pointers can get open and then just catch and shoot. That's what we do, man. Catch and shoot. Three-point game as Ray Allen made the shot for the Bobcats as Heinrich will bring it up. He's on Bell and Nelly here. Looking for somewhere to go. Can't find anywhere. Rookie with it now. To Gibson. Long. Ooh, nice. I was about to say that was a long shot for him. I mean, it wasn't three point range, but still. Longer than I thought his range was. It's. Wow, that was. Alright, cool. That was an interesting shot taken by James there. And it falls with the uh, foul, so three-point opportunity here. It's Charlotte is up, looking to go up, I should say, by four. And they do not. James actually misses it, so that's, that's actually very good. Bad pass by Lucas trying to hit Prince up, but way too much, way too much to do there. Oh, well, now Prince is guarded by James. Tops in, tries to put up a one-handed little hook there. And he's able to hit it. I have no idea how he did that. There was a lot of guys in there. A lot of guys with blue jerseys on. Kicks out to Owens. Awkward shot, won't go. Birdman gets the rebound, and we will end the first quarter. All right, Bulls are, Bulls are hanging in there. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it could be a lot worse. Hoping it would be a lot better, but, you know, I like where we're at right now. Down by one, 17-16. Um, offense is kind of hit and miss, but we're starting to try and get some better shots, try and get some more ball movement, get some open shooters. Um, at least we did that within the last minute or so, which I'm pretty pretty happy about. And on the defensive side, just gotta shore that up. Gotta give him only one shot, make it a bad shot, and get the rebound off of it. LeBron's gonna make his his buckets. You know, it's 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 not so much about guarding him as it is about limiting the other guys. Because I mean, one guy can't score all the points for you, so just gotta limit the uh, the other playmakers in there with him, and we should be good. See the lineup for the Bulls on the court right now. Rose gives... Oh, I should say Mayo gave to Rose. Who was underneath the basket. Gets the easy layup there. I believe James is probably... Yeah, it looks like James is out right now. Which is why the point guard is handling it. I was about to say, the point guard never handles it. James always is, but... He is out right now. Awkward shot from almost behind the backboard by Mike Miller. Hits iron, but does not fall. As the Bulls will take over again here. Rose looking for somewhere to go. Finally drives in and gets the layup. 
fancy footwork there by Derrick Rose as he's crossing it over, moving his feet, getting the defense all discombobulated and not knowing what way he is going. That's what we need there as Thompson backing down puts up a wild shot that falls. Although that was not very good defense by Anderson. Rose driving in, gets the bucket and a foul. Sessions gets called for it. And so Rose will go to the line to attempt a three-point play. Both teams making complete substitutions. As you can see, LeBron James comes back in. As well as Paul Pierce is on this team. I forgot about him. I'm surprised he wasn't starting. But Paul Pierce comes in. Gibson also comes back in. They're probably going to put him on James for defense. I actually like that. He's our best defender probably we have, so to have him face off against James on the defensive side is probably the best option we have. He probably isn't as mobile as James, but I don't know. I don't really think I would trust anyone else. Uh, got the bucket inside as Rose is just a little bit too small to be attempting that rebound there, guys. You got to get some bigger people in there to help me out. The rookie Akil. Gibson. Close range shot misses. And the Bobcats come running down. We got numbers. Bayless though gets blocked. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful block. I don't know who did. There was just a swarm of white jerseys all around him. Gotta love it when we just swarm in. Nice low. <laughs> I was going to say nice layup by Gibson, but he blows it. As it was a beautiful pass by the rookie Akils to Gibson, who was right there coming down the lane. Couldn't finish the layup, and now is a tie game. Rose fade away. Shot is good. And the Bobcats will take a timeout. Bulls up 25-23 right now. We can take a look at the stats. I think they're a little bit better. Yeah, I guess they're a little bit better now. So you can see Rose dominant right now in the first half. It's similar to that other game where he had 16 in the first half. He has 11 right now. Two assists by the rookie Akil. Taj Gibson, four points, three rebounds. He really should have six points. He just blew that layup, though. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts just seeing that. That was just point blank range. There was no defense there and he blew the layup. Tygo Splair then has a rebound and one assist. We need him to start rebounding a little bit more. Gibson's been doing a good job, but when both of them rebound, oh. It's unstoppable, man. But that's one of the issues though. We have not really been able to stop them that much. It's kind of in tit for tat right now. Bobcats will bring it up. Sessions with it. Heinrich on him. Blocks it. And Ryan Birdman comes away with it. It's, looks like they were trying to go for an alley oop attempt there. Gives it to Heinrich. Who hits up Prince off the glass and won't go. Now an outlet pass, long range, they got numbers, misses, and Kirk Heinrich pulls down the rebound. Good defense there, getting back, at least we had two or three guys ready to help out. Bellinelli catch and shoot, oh, nothing but net, nothing but net for Marco Bellinelli. It's good to see him starting to get involved again too, he has not been so involved in the past couple games. That is not good to see there. Tosh Gibson gained a stupid foul. Stupid, stupid foul on LeBron James there. As he was going in for the dunk, you just let him do that. You don't try and contest that. You're not going to be able to stop him when he does that. Instead, Gibson picks up his fourth personal foul now of the game. And we're not even at halftime. Could be the first time one of my players fouls out. And that is a huge blow if he does. Because Gibson... Gibson provides a lot on defense and offensive end. We do not 
We do not have the defensive qualifications without Taj in there, man. Deshaun Prince catch and shoot. Easy bucket there off the assist from John Lucas. See, that's what we're doing. We've been doing a lot of, you know, catch and shoots, a lot of easy buckets, and I don't know what that was. I don't know if John Lucas got a hand on it or not, but that was a completely horrible layup. Almost as bad as Gibson's. Yeah, I'll say it was as bad. Oh, I was... He made it, but I did not like that shot. Kind of would have preferred if he would have drove to the hoop. But he made it, so I can't complain that much. On the other side, LeBron hits a quick jumper. Score! Stands thus with two points, dividing the two teams. Can't really get over that right now. John Lucas for three. Oh, easy one. When we've been hitting those threes, we've been pretty good, man. I mean, they've been pretty open threes, too. Like, we've been passing the ball around pretty good now since since I said in the first that we've been getting some nice open three balls to fall. As you can see the stats, John Lucas with three, Mayo four, Prince four. An assist from Lucas, an assist from Mayo. Two rebounds by Plumlee. One rebound both from Prince and Birdman. That is odd seeing Birdman as the power forward, but got to put two big guys in especially with Gibson out with four fouls right now they probably won't put him back in till the third start the third that's not what we like to see don't like to see Gibson with four fouls it's not even halftime yet all right A minute left Bulls up by three OJ Mayo, open look. Easy one. We've been getting some good ball movement. Good ball movement, good open shots. I can't complain with this offense right now. I'm not liking that the defense is allowing the shots that are going down. See, again, that, that one was a good one. That was good defense. He still made the shot, okay? That one I'm okay with, but it's just back and forth. We can't, can't get any separation, can't get anything distance-wise to happen. Bad shot by Rose that time. That one, that one was not good. Oh, but Rose with the steal. Rose with the steal, but he doesn't have numbers. Ryan Anderson, not a good shot. LeBron was all up in his face. Off the glass, miss. LeBron James gets it back, passes it out to Sessions. Gets a guy on him, finally. LeBron backing in, shoot, miss. Again, a splitter hauls it down. Back to Rose, couple seconds left here in the second quarter. Derrick Rose spins in, puts it up, gets fouled. So he will go to the line. Bella Kunis gets called for it as his second. Second team, but it really doesn't matter at this point. So Rose will go to the line to shoot two. Hoping to put us up by five before halftime here. I like that Rose is getting to the free throw line quite a bit here. This is his fourth and fifth free throw, I believe, here. A lot of times he doesn't get to the line as much as I would like. So it's good, very good to see him gain some free throws. Especially since he is the easiest free throw mechanic on my team. I can make the free throws with him. If it was someone like Gibson... Ah! But Rose, Rose, I'm confident. I feel good when I shoot with him. <laughs> so we have come to halftime. 39-34. Bulls on top by four. That's a six-point swing from the end of the first quarter. As you can see, Bulls shooting a 63% field goal percentage. Bobcats themselves are not too shabby with a 57%. Those are high numbers, actually. Like I said, not, not a lot of defense going on. Um... When they shoot, they usually make it. Same with us, which is why the score is so close. Um, every time we try to pull away, they, you know, get a get a bucket right in return. So the only good thing is that we've been making some threes, which is slowly giving us a little bit more of a lead, as opposed to them. They have 
They really haven't shot that many threes, so... Again, the only thing I need to change is just some defense. Improve the defense, which is going to be hard, especially with Gibson having four fouls. But if we can get some defensive intensity, maybe from Splitter, from maybe Prince, you know, help out Gibson a little bit here at the beginning of the third quarter, not let him pick up a foul, we might be able to go places. So start of the third quarter, Bulls will be inbounding it. Prince to Rose, and here we go. See if we can expand upon this lead we have. Oh, give it to Splitter. Give it to Splitter, Rose. They come with a double team now because Rose has gotten a couple too many points for their liking. That's a bad idea because then Tygo Splitter will come and make you pay. Didn't like a shot selection there, but... Cannot fault him when it goes down. Can't fault the defense on the other end of things, though. Gibson with it. Oh, I was hoping he'd hit Splitter up. Shoots. Not, not the best of shots, I guess, from him. Shumpert with it now. Oh, that was my fault. I am not good on defense, I will admit that. <laughs> I'm bad. So bad on defense. I lose my mans too often. Mayo covered. Splitter puts up the hook shot and it falls. Oh my god, that was a kind roll. It looked like it was halfway out and down before it kind of popped back up and in. Lucky shot by Splitter, but I will take it as the bo Bobcats take a timeout now. Almost at the Bucks for some reason. I don't know. Rose with 13 points and an assist. Six for Mayo with an assist. Four points then for Prince Gibson and Splitter. As Gibson and Splitter both have five rebounds between the two of them. Bulls are up right now by five, as you can see. In the last ten games, that's the Bulls we're talking about, man. Last ten games, we've been putting up the numbers we put up last year. Stats-wise, we're we're getting back on top of things. First and seconds in the league, probably with field goal percentage, probably three-point percentage, free throw percentage. I didn't see the whole list, but I would assume. And the rebounding has gotten better too. Halfway through the season, we were like 20th. I think we've made it up. Oh, Rose breaking some ankles. Oh, Rose broke some ankles there. Did you see that, guys? Rose broke some ankles. I hope that guy's okay. He might need some ice after this game. He just fell right down. Right down and allowed Rose an easy lane to the bucket for the layup. Uh, good defense. I, I stayed on him that time. I stayed on him that time, but I still got in and got the layup. It's back and forth right now by both teams. Why are you doing a cross court? I don't get the game half the time here. Why was Rose shooting it all the way over to Mayo when Tayshaun Prince was like right next to him, wide open, and had an easy lane to the basket? I didn't have enough time to hit the, the player pass icon. But I just thought the game would take the smart route and pass to the open man, not the guy across court with a guy on him, you know. But that's what I know, right? Game mechanics. Do you even? Now LeBron James backing him down, puts it up the hook, and it is a one-point game. Points and paint. Story of the game right now for the Charlotte. They are bullying their way by us. Rose driving in, gets blocked, live contact though. Puts it up for the alley-oop and Charlotte gets back to lead. Tibbs doesn't like that, he will take a timeout to talk it over. I don't like that because so far, past couple plays have not been good. Rose drove to the hoop but got a little bit of resistance last play. 
could have been a foul, but they just let him play and instead he got blocked. Then after that, the game, the play before that game was just stupid. <laughs> I'm not blaming myself, except that I didn't, you know, hit the player pass icon, but I don't know why the game decides to throw it cross court instead of hitting a prince who's like right next to you and not covered. I don't know. Don't make sense to me. So we'll come out of the timeout with the ball in a one point deficit here, 46-45. Heinrich came in, Rose is taking a breather. The rest of the stars are all in though, so see if Captain Kirk can make some magic happen for us. Gives it to Prince. LeBron James on him to splitter. Goes in. Wow, I think it got blocked. It had to have gotten blocked. Okay. I was about to say, if that didn't get blocked, then there's no way Splitter would put up that horrible of a pass. Kirk gets the pass in close, puts it up, and gets fouled by Sessions. So he will be going to the line to shoot two here. Here's a look at the conference standings. Bulls in second, Charlotte in sixth. So very close right now. Two teams can meet in the first or second round probably, I'm thinking. Captain Kirk makes the first one, nothing but net, ties it up. And the second one won't go. That's all right, Kirk. Can't make them all. Okay, let's let's try and play some defense here. That would be like a huge advantage if I could. I can't though. I can't. I can't do it. Don't make me do it. Shumpert kicks it to Pierce, who shoots, and man, that's just the experience. That's just the experience of Paul Pierce right there. As the Bobcats are on a huge run. Back and forth by both teams. It's a tie game. Guy goes splitter. I have no idea why you still have the ball in your hands right now. Prince cannot get away. Gets blocked. Oh my god, that's horrible. Prince, get back. Someone do something. Shumpert. No. No. This is just what I was afraid of, you know. The offense has just gone stale right now. We can't buy a bucket again. Heinrich pushing it up court. Can't get anywhere with it, though. Oh, my God, Heinrich. That was a horrible pass. James was right there, and again, the fast breaks are killing us, too, recently. Oh, my God, and Gibson gets out-rebounded. Taj Gibson, how do you get out-rebounded? By, by Valakunas? Really? Dude! Hit the freaking weight room! OJ Mayo can't buy it. And now they're running again. Our guys are not getting back for the defensive play here. We stop them, but they get right back because we don't have enough to stop and rebound. And the fans are booing. I am booing as it's been a complete turnaround here as the Bulls have fallen apart. Completely fallen apart here in the second. There is no other words for it. Tayshawn Prince, hand all up in his face. Not going to make that one. Taj Gibson gets the rebound. Puts it up but misses. James gets called for the foul and Gibson will go to the line. Which means the score will stay the same as it is right now. I'm horrible at shooting free throws with Gibson, so this this is not going to go well. I'm not making these shots. I can tell you that right now. Somehow we made the first. We're probably not going to make the second, though. So it'll be a seven-point game here. It's the Bulls falling apart. See, I told you I wouldn't make them. It was not my decision, it was just my fate. Nine point game. Last shot of the quarter will go to the Bulls. So Rose is back in and we need like a miracle right now. Gets a screen from Gibson, but got nowhere to go until right now. Goes in and gets the layup. 
Okay, Rose, you gotta stop showboying. Stop showboying and get back. Shumpert is on fire right now. Oh god, no, 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 no. Puts it up. Goaltending. Goaltending and Ryan Anderson. Still nine point game. Why does Lucas in there? And why is he receiving the ball? Shoots from three. In and out. And so things have gone completely down the toilet right now, guys, as we had a five point lead going in starting this quarter, and it is now a nine point lead on the other side of things. So that is a 14 point swing. The offense completely broke. Um, we couldn't buy a bucket there for quite some time. Still really can't buy a bucket. Um, and again, the defense has been killing us all day. Um, it's not that they're, they're getting fast break points, which is why I don't like. They've been getting able to run and get like three, four guys on two of our guys, which is not good numbers, and we can't stop them when they do that. We've never been able to stop them this season when a team does that. Um, but just even when they don't, the defense is not stopping it. They're getting, they're getting points on almost every possession because our defense is not able to stop them for whatever reason. If we could shore up the defense here, that would be great because then we might have a chance, but they're sinking a shot every possession. We're not winning this game. There's no way. I mean, our offense, even if it was hitting on all cylinders, like from now on to the end of the game, the defense isn't, which is, which is gonna cause us to fail here, so. Sessions, alley -oop pass to the cameraman sitting courtside, it looked like. I don't think he realized that they are not actually playing the game. They're just taking video and pictures of the game, but he could try. Rose will bring it up court. All right, we need something here, man. We need something. Rose drawing the double. Gives it to Ryan Anderson, who takes the shot, jumper, and it's good. All right, we got to start somewhere. Let's see if that's where we'll start. Open shot for Pierce. Oh, wow, he missed it. Usually an open three ball like that from Paul Pierce is, is instantly in, but I'm glad it wasn't. Rose driving in, misses the shot. Bell Nelly, catch and shoot. Won't go that time, though. Don't let him get on the run. Don't let him get on the run. Come on. Stop him a little bit here. Stop him a little bit. Good good defense. Good defense. Get the rebound. Yeah, splitter. Go splitter. Our right, guys are tired as hell from that. <laughs> okay. Okay, just just set up here. Set up. Oh, bad pass. Ryan Anderson just drops the ball on the court. He just dropped the ball, ran right the court, and didn't pick it back up. Dude, what the hell are you doing? And then he doesn't rebound. And they get the second chance bucket. Timeout Bulls has... What can you do? When you get some good defense, they get an offensive rebound. And then you're back at square one. I don't even want to look at the stats. Look, look. There is nothing going on in that rebounding column. Tygo Splitter has three. Goody for you. No one else is doing anything there. And even worse on the point side of things. Again... If the offense is on and off, I'm fine with that. It's going to be up and down, okay? But the defense hasn't been up at all in this game. Not once. They've been making shots left and right whenever they want. Rhodes can't do anything now because he's been getting double teamed. Tayshawn Prince hits an open look there because of the double team to Rose. But, I mean, oh, my God, right now. We need something. Lost the ball. Gibson comes away with it. Run, Gibson. Run. Don't stop running. Don't stop believing. Didn't get anything out of that fast break. Oh, but Tayshaun Prince is open. Ooh, that's it. Needed that. Needed that one, man. Derrick Rose is looking back at him like, good job, man. You bailed us out. Let the comeback begin. Down by four. Still plenty of time in this one. Oh, 
again. If they start going to James, we're screwed. If they start going to James, we're totally, totally screwed, man. Oh, I was hoping I could draw a double. Derek Rose for three. Misses. Misses. Okay, get back on defense, guys. Okay. They didn't try a fast break, and we can get back now. Session shoots, and that is way off. I think that was probably blocked, though. Yeah. I was about to say, if he shot it that way, that was horrible. All right, timeout. Six-point lead by the Bobcats. Rose with 17, four assists. Six for Mayo, nine for Prince, five for Gibson, four for Splitter. Gibson and Splitter both have seven rebounds apiece. Well, together, I should say. Didn't phrase that well. All right, let's see if the defense can come alive here. We really need the defense to come alive. We need you guys to get some stops. Get some stops and then feed off that energy on the other side of things. It's what we need right now. Okay, how did they get that in without time running out? Do, do we have to go back to school? One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Because I don't, I don't think you guys were counting correctly there. Oh, that was bad. That was bad, bad choices. Bad life choices by me. Bad life choices. I was hoping that Mayo would get that at the line. Instead, he goes back to get it. And once again, it is a 10-point game. I'm pretty sure that this one's almost over here. There's no coming back from a 10-point game. Why are you double-teaming Prince? And what is Prince doing? Why? I'm just completely confused at what the hell Prince just did right there. Gibson hauls down a rebound. Oh, wow, you guys are actually starting to play defense now? That's... You're not supposed to do that, you know. Rose hangs, shoots, gets it. One man can't win it for you guys, though. Again, LeBron isn't winning it for his team. His team's winning for the team, right? Derrick Rose can't win it for the Bulls, okay? He needs the team to help win it. And right now, defensive-wise, team is not doing anything. Until right there, okay? Again. Now you guys are starting to put on the defense. It's like a little bit too little too late, isn't it? I would classify it too little too late. Prince cans it. Six point lead. You guys really should have like, kicked this defense up a notch like earlier in the game. Really should have. You really should have done better earlier. Good defense. Come on, fight, fight. James. Gets the rebound, puts it back up and in. That's a foul on Rose. See, Rose has to go in there and try to fight for these things, man. I'm, I'm controlling Rose and I'm going in and be like, do something. Just looking down the chain of command. Do something. Do something. James makes the first one. He'll probably make them both. It'll be an eight-point game here. Uh, the game will probably start doing the intentional fouling, even though it's too far gone. Eight-point game. Rose bringing it up court. Gets the lane to go down, kind of, until it gets blocked. That's the third block, I believe, on Rose now. Bron James with it. Open sessions. I finally get over to him. Okay, and they're not even going to try now. It's just kind of pass around. Oh, Tristan Thompson way open there. Stop and pop for Mayo. Ooh, wow, nice. Nice three ball by OJ Mayo there. I have no idea how he did that. Play defense now. I think it's wow. All right, that's game set and match right there. I'm 
don't care what you guys do on your end. Rose shoots for three, misses. Mayo gets it, puts it back up for two, and he'll go. And the game starts the intentional fouling. Mayo gets called for it. At least it's not LeBron shooting. I got that going for me, though. It's a five-point game, 20.5 seconds left. Truthfully, we deserve to lose this game. You know, we, we didn't play defense. When you don't play defense, you're going to lose. Our offense is already kind of sketchy every once in a while, so... With, without the defense to back us up, there's no chance. Makes one of two. So Tibbs will take a timeout, try and draw something up here as it's a six-point game. Two threes would be good. I don't know if I trust anyone to shoot a three, though, right now. Kind of want Rose to shoot, but I don't know. It's going to be really hard for him to get up a good shot. Really hard. I'm surprised Mayo made that one. Rose catch shoot offline rebound by Prince puts it up gets it to go all right all right all right okay you, you guys gotta learn how to do like count refs count the ball one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi so sessions will go to the line again Again, my saving grace is it's not LeBron shooting. Because he's almost as automatic as Rose's. This guy missed one last time, but uh, he's probably not going to miss one this time. It was probably like a fluke. Final timeout by the Bulls. Down by six still. Again... Shoot from Rose, offline, and that is it. Gibson takes the foul, but it does not matter. You missed, you didn't get no points in this one, so that will be it. Six points right now, possibly more as Thompson goes to the line. It's it's upsetting. We, we've been on a quite a bit of a run. We've won a couple games in a row here now. It sucks, though, because we're going to back-to-back, -back and we don't usually do good in the second game. Didn't win the first game, and although the Nuggets are not as good this year, they still have Steph Curry, though. That's going to be tough. Steph Curry could just bomb it out. All the bench comes in for the Bulls now. Let's just show up a shot with John Lucas, see what happens. No, give it to Lucas. Chuck it out there. Let Lucas shoot a three. Misses. Birdman gets it up. Birdman! Do it, Birdman! Birdman! Hey! I don't know why I took pleasure in that. But I did. Alright. Well, we got we got the final shot. And it was Birdman who did it. You got you gotta enjoy the little things in life, you know. As the bulls fall to the bobcats, kind of kinda of thought this would happen. I'm really hoping we don't face each other in the playoffs. If we both get to the playoffs, because uh, we 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 we're gonna be bad if we do that. <laughs> Player of the game, Shumper. If he was just on fire from jump shots to layups to dunks, we couldn't stop him. At one point, he was on a hot streak. I think he was making like bucket after bucket for them. And again, it, it all goes back to the defense. If if you don't stop him on defense, if you don't hold your ground. If you let them get fast break opportunities, you're not going to win it. And we just proved that tonight with this game. So, Bulls fall. What was the final score here? I wasn't really paying attention. So, 75-69. Let's take a look at the stats here. Shumpert had 21 points. Oh, my God. How do you let him get 21 points? I mean, James, I'm fine with getting that, which he did. I just saw that. 
But, I mean, Shumpert, there's no excuse for him getting 21 points. That's, that's just, again, that's just horrible defense. Again, it's the shooting guard. Mayo, Mayo, if Mayo was on him, he should have done a better job. He, he, there's no excuse for that. Actually, he didn't even have any threes. So what the hell is going on here, guys? James Thompson got double digits. Paul Pierce didn't have a good game, but he didn't need a good game. I mean, Lopez and Allen didn't have good games, but they didn't need good games. I mean, Shumpert carried them. I, I knew James was going to do good. I knew he was going to get 20-something points. But the Shumpert issue is the problem right now. I mean, there's no excuse for that. Derrick Rose, 0 for 4 and from 3-point land, but that was at the end. 19 points total with 5 assists. That's a good game for Rose. 13 points for Prince, 11 for Mayo. We just... The offense wasn't the problem. Again, we got 69 points. It was bad thing. I mean, the bad thing was the defense. We couldn't stop them. Look, everyone except the Akeels and Plumley scored. We just couldn't stop them on the defensive side of things. And when that happens, when you allow them to go down the court and get a bucket on every possession, you're going to lose. Look, they shot 60%. We only shot 52, which is still good. Still great to be in the 50s, but you can't let your opponent shoot 50, I mean 60%. They, they had the advantage in everything. Look. Seven more assists. Um, fast break point eight. All right. Offensive rebounds eight compared to six. Nineteen compared to fourteen. Defensive rebounds. Um, they had one less turnover than us. It's that those are the things I always look at. Again, those are the top things I look at. The rebounding and the, the bench points. We had more. Usually I look at bench points. We had more. But again, there was no defense. They they out-rebounded us. Plain and simple. And when that happens, we're not going to win. So it's it's back to the drawing board. And we really got no time to go to the drawing board. As we have a back-to-back. -back, so as good as the team was tonight, it's as good as we're going to be in the next game. Not good. <laughs> not good. Back-to-back -back games. They're a killer. And it's surprising, considering it's a 29-game schedule, you would think that there would be no back-to-backs. And this is already our third. So, kind of odd. And I think that was another thing. I don't think everyone was happy on that team. Um, let's see. Got a huge break after All-Star game. Dude, a huge break, man. Look at that. Don't play again until... Like a, yeah, months later. After the All-Star game, we don't play for another month. That's a, that's a lot of time. A lot of practices we can get in, but a lot of time to sit and mull things over, man. I don't like it. Then we're just loaded up almost every other day we're playing at the end of the year. Look, on our back-to-back -back there. Ugh. So that's two, three. Yeah, we've had four. Four, five, five back-to-backs. In a 29-game season, five back-to-backs. What? All right. Um, that is where I'm going to leave it off, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave a like, as well as any comments you may have down below. Otherwise, I'm KJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.